Arkansas's Department of Education has released guidelines for state-funded pre-K programs. The state has said on-site learning will be the only options for parents at the start of the school year. Stephanie Sharp looking into this matter for us this evening. She talked with a parent who has made the decision to keep her preschooler home this year. Education Commissioner Johnny Key says that there are a number of reasons why the state is only allowing in-class learning for pre-K students. One is funding. The other is limited screen time is recommended for students ages three and four years old. Obviously, things are a little bit different this year for everybody. Hannah Vogler making big decisions for her three-year-old daughter this school year. She is choosing to keep her preschooler at home. Obviously, we would rather kids be in school. I mean, that is the best place for kids to be. Thursday, the state recommended pre-K programs go back to the classroom for insight learning instead of virtual learning. And so the decision to not have virtual pre-K is one that had a variety of, of uh, reasons behind it. But uh, we, we um, feel strongly that in-person pre-K is definitely the best way to go. I think yesterday was a little bit of a blind side for, for most of us. Hannah says before this decision was made, she signed her daughter up for virtual learning. But now she's keeping her daughter home because her family has the ability to make that happen. We're really, really lucky that we can make that decision. And we feel a responsibility to make that decision so that other people who don't have those options can send their kids to school. She says she wishes there was a virtual option so she could have guidance on how to teach her daughter at home. In the meantime, she says she's doing what she thinks is best for the health and safety of everyone. Those of us who can keep our kids home are trying to do so, so that we are not affecting the health of the people who cannot keep their children home. According to the state, if a school or a district must close because of COVID, the pre-K program may remain open, but should prepare if remote instruction is necessary. In Little Rock, I'm Stephanie Sharp. A non